judge for us on several previous occasions. Why am I not hearing so well? We are so happy to have him back. I would just like to tell one little story to give you an idea about how devoted to judging Vinny is. Uh, he lives up in the very, very, very north of the state. Vinny, I'm not sure what town you're from. Ridgewood? Ramsey. Which is it? Ramsey? Ramsey, yeah. It's all the way up, about five miles from the border. Yeah. So uh, despite the, the enormous distance driving wise, Vinny has, uh, Vinny agreed to come. And I believe that we chose a, a summer. Uh, Time because we didn't want to have to. Is this, uh... Beautiful weather. Vinny uh, was was plagued by not only rush hour traffic uh, of a normal kind, but also beach traffic, and it ended up taking him two hours ah. just to get here. Aye. Uh, uh, if that's it was, well, it was worth it. About, what kind of judge he is, and I don't know what does. So we are happy to welcome you back. Uh, this time you didn't have to drive anywhere. So looking forward to enjoying your comments and learning from you. Thanks for inviting me. Okay, at this time I'm going to mute everybody. Uh, and I'm going to ask Vinny to, Vinny to turn his audio on and Flo to turn her audio on. Okay. Okay, Vinny, Flo, you were back on? Yeah, I'm on. Okay, okay, I'm on, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hold on a second. I'm gonna share the screen if I may. Okay. Okay, and what we're going to start off here is a real short one, open class B, which only has four in here. So Vinny, uh, we're going to do two rounds. First round will be five, uh, five, six, and seven. The second round, seven, eight, and nine. All right. Well, ready? I thought ready. the first round was in and out, no? It is in and out. I'm sorry, you're right. Okay. In and out, yeah. Okay, round and round we go. Very, very interesting image with the, the way that the road comes in here, okay, and then wraps around. And I can see another road all the way up here. So this road is really extensive. And I like the, I like the composition. I would bring the road up a little bit more and maybe cut the image off up around here, okay, just to, to improve the road a little bit. But that's an end. Okay. Falls behind the tree. Without the title, it's a little hard to find the falls in the image. Okay. So I think this could be a little bit better composition in the image. I think if you cropped this right part out and concentrated more on this part of the image, the image would be much stronger for you. Uh, out. Vinny, excuse me, we're not seeing your arrow. Oh, no? Okay, wait a minute. Uh, where do I set? I don't, I don't know. I can't seem to find the, uh, the annotator. Oh, here it is, annotate. Okay, can you see it now? Um, not on my screen. Okay. I can't see One it. One more draw. Let me draw, but maybe make it a little bit bigger. Red and this. You see that? No. Oh, there yeah, I see it. it. I yes. see it. Yeah. Okay. Let me just clear. That's, that's good. Okay. Uh, interesting statue looks like me when I get up in the morning. <laughs> hey, I, uh, 
I think the image for you would be a lot stronger, okay, in through here, because that to me is the main part of the of the subject. Okay, just a little bit, little bit of background, maybe even a little bit more than I drew it, okay, would improve the would improve the image a fair amount. Uh, but seven, I'll, I'll, in, I'll see it again. Norway. Let me clear this. Oh, I, I love the mood of this image. Okay. Especially how sharp it is and how vibrant it is down here. And then it just falls off into the mist at the top of the mountains. Okay. Really well composed image. Beautiful uh, in. Okay, we have three that we're gonna do for round two. Okay. Round and round we go. Uh, seven. Coming out of the trees. Seven. Norway. Nine. Okay, that makes it uh, signing the ward very easy. Okay. <laughs> Let me just move this over here. Open class B. First place, Norway, Marv. Terrific, Marv. Okay, now we're going to go into open class A, where we have 14. Okay. S Snowstorm one. Very interesting. Very interesting position of the... Uh of the, the uh, branches of the tree coming out here and the snow on it. I think I would have either included a little bit more of the branch down here at the bottom, okay? Or maybe even cut it off, okay, in through here. And because here is where I think the main subject is in the image, okay? And I don't think you need the bottom part of the image but still it's an interesting image in. Guarding the path to the beach. Oh, I, I like images like this where you can just walk down, okay, and follow the path and wind up down at the beach. Okay, I love the, I love the fact that you waited for the birds to get here on the posts. Okay, beautiful leading lines, nice shadows in the image. Okay, great sand tracks, okay, and Interesting ocean back here. Little knit, I think I would take out about that much of the sky on the top because it's monochromatic at that point and doesn't add a lot of detail in the image. Okay, but that's a small, that's a small knit in the image in. Chevrolet. Uh, yeah, you can see the license plate. I was gonna say it had to be Cuba. Uh, Interesting that the placement of the of the the Chevy in the uh, in the image, and especially being downhill, it gives you a really dynamic look to the image. And at first, I thought maybe it should be straightened out, but I like it on this diagonal. And it gives it it gives it a lot of feeling of motion, and, and I'm always amazed how Cubans can keep these cars running. And they're unbelievable at it. Uh, in Vertical abstract. Very interesting graphic image. I love the symmetry of it. A lot of judges will tell you things shouldn't be centered. Here's an image where it really cries to be centered. The symmetry, the graphics, the lighting, the exposure on it, the handling of the background, in. I missed you, Juliet. <laughs> uh, you can just see. You can just see that that dog, okay, looking at its master, saying, where you been all day? Yeah, I think the uh, the image suffers a little bit from the fact that it's not really sharp where it needs to be sharp. It needs to be sharp in the eyes and in the foreground. So the nose really has to be sharp. And then I would I would increase, like if, you, if you're used to the, the a, any post-processing in Lightroom or in, in uh, Photoshop, Okay, the shadow sliders would bring this up quite a bit. 
paint, and I think you'd have a better image. But I think it just needs to be a little bit sharper uh, out. Snowstorm too. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting that what, what kind of post-processing you did on the image. I'm not so sure that the background really works for you. Uh, it's a lot brighter than the rest of the than the rest of the the subject itself, and I think the subject would probably be better. Whoops, and, and through there, and I meant to come all the way over to the edge, but my <laughs> my mouse grabbed. Uh, so I think a little bit different composition in the image would work for you a lot better. Out. Car wash patterns. Interesting image. I love this part of the image in through here. And I think if you took out this part, the, bo the bottom part of the image, it would be much stronger for you because it takes away from the rest of the patterns that are up here. These patterns are really beautiful. I like the colors in them. I like all the implied motion that's in there. But I think this is a little bit distracting the leaf in the, in the bottom of the image down here. Because it, in the foreground, your eye will always go to that. And, and now it's not only large, but it's also out of focus. But the main problem I have is it takes away from the beauty of the pattern that's in here uh, out. The last deadline of 2020. Okay. I like the I like what you did with the, the monochromatic background and the yellow flower and yeah, uh, I think I would crop this image down a fair amount, so that you had to had enough of the the background in here, okay, but a little bit less, so that the flower stood out a little bit more in the image. I love the fact that the stem is coming up at a diagonal from the corner, but I think there's a little bit too much background in order to carry the flower as well as it should uh, out. Rainy day. Interesting graphic image. You can kind of just feel the rain in the image. Uh, I would take a little bit off the, the back, the bottom of the, of the image in through here. There's not a lot of raindrops down here that you can see but you can see them very clearly here. So I think the image would be strengthened for you if you concentrated a little bit more on the top part of the image. But I love what you saw and I like the rain that's in here. Uh, in. My Banny. Very nice image. I, I, like the, uh, I like the look on the cat. I like the fact that it's it's coming out from under the pillows or the comfort of what's ever here. Really nice image. It has a nice soft feel to it. Uh, beautiful image. In berries in the snow. I love the berries against the snow. Look at how well the red stands out in the image. I think this part of the image is really very soft. It doesn't take, doesn't add that much to the image. So I would come down in through here and I think it'd be a little bit stronger for you. Okay? Now you concentrate a little bit more on the snow and the berries, but that's an end. Seeking Robert Frost before snowfall season. I love images that you can walk into. And I just feel like I wanna walk down through here climb up the steps and continue down the path. <clears throat> so I think the composition is very nice. We had a, we had a, a program the other night on what the word called vertoramas, which is a vertical panorama. And this is a great use of it because it really, it really defines the, the walkway, okay, and all the steps. And one of the things I really enjoy in an image is when the aspect ratio of the frame equals the aspect ratio of the subject itself. It just enhances the image in my mind. 
and it leads you into what I believe the photographer wanted me to see or any viewer to see in the image. So very nicely composed, very nicely handled. So, uh, I'm sorry, <coughs> excuse me, in. That's okay, 9-11 Memorial. Nice graphic of the memorial, great colors. I don't know where you got them, okay, I don't care. But the, the whole image really plays with me. And, and I, love the, I love the sky, I love all the colors. I love just the, the composition and the feel of the image. Uh, I think it's very well done in. For spacious skies. You know, here's a case where the title does it, okay? Because I would think that the image is down here, okay? But there's something about all this negative space up here and the way the flowers are leading up into it and pointing into it that really pre presents a very interesting composition for me. Uh, you, know, you might have thought that I would come in and say, Oh, I want to see this image down here. But the top of this adds some dynamics to the image. And it's a really very interesting and unique composition in. Okay, round two. Let me just get the mouse. Here we go, round two. Snowstorm one. Seven. Guarding the path to the beach. Eight. Chevrolet. Eight. Vertical abstract. Nine. Rainy day. Eight. My banny. Eight. Berries in the snow. Seven. Seeking Robert Frost before snowfall season. Eight. 9-11 Memorial. Eight. With spacious skies. For the novelty alone, nine. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to score this for first and second place. Okay. We're going to collapse. What's that? I can see the thumbnails and my brain remembers them. Okay. Uh, I'll take the first one as first place. That's first place. Okay. Okay, and this this is the second one, right? Correct. All right. Okay, we can give one of these uh now as uh a third place okay mm -hmm. oh boy go back to the i'll take that as, as third place this the, one the, the, no the beach scene this one okay I feel like putting on my bathing suit and going down there. Okay, open class A, third place, guarding the path to the beach, Claude, fantastic. Second place with spacious skies, Claude, wow. <laughs> and first place, Vertical abstract, Walter. Cool. Okay. Even though he's hiding his top of his head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have twenty-two now for AA. And here we AA go. Is, AA is the top group, right? That's correct. Crusty homemade bread. Did I just do the right? Hold on. Let me see if I did. Yeah, I, I think you went into food. <laughs> I did. I did. Yeah. Okay, 19, score contest. Heron, 
looking for, at a friend. Nicely, <laughs> nicely composed. Okay, the uh, in in this case, this the bright side of the image really adds to the image, in that you can almost you can almost see it talking to a friend or a chick. This looks like a nest. Okay? Very nicely done, beautifully exposed. Okay, I love the background, tack sharp. I just like the the position of the uh, the heron in here in. Window study number 10. I like the composition. I like the fact that this window is open and you're seeing into it. The lighting is a little bit flat in the image. And I think that the lighting could be a little bit more dynamic and it would present the image a little bit better uh, out. Dueling cameras. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting idea, interesting composition. Since the cameras are such an important part of the image, I think I would bring up the shadow areas in this part of the camera and in this part of the camera, just to give them a little bit more feel. Because right now you're looking at the camera, just the top of the bellows in most of them and they, the, uh, the lens in the front, but you're not seeing the rest of the camera as well as you as you could uh, out. Angry crow. Interesting, interesting view of the crow. You caught it at the right time. Uh, maybe a little bit soft in the eyes. I think they could be a little bit sharper. Okay, but not that bad. I like the I like the pose on the on the crow. I like the fact that the mouth is wide open. Uh, so uh, in. Beauty from behind. Nice way a lot of time to photograph flowers is from the back. They're very unusual. And I like the lighting that's in here. The lighting is very soft. Okay? And I probably in, in uh, judging on bridge before, okay? uh, I had a friend who was fantastic at flower photography. And his claim was, if you raise your hand and saw anything but a very indistinct shadow, don't photograph flowers. They're soft, they're sensuous, and they have to be photographed in that light. And I think the lighting in here is superb. In Balanced and embossed rocks. I like, the, I like the idea, I like the thought in the image but I don't think it's sharp at all, all throughout the image. I can't find anything that's really sharp in the image. And I think it has to be for this kind of a graphic image, uh, out. Graceful in flight. Nice shot of, the, of the, uh, the bird in flight. I love the fact that the bird is really stretched out in the image, I don't know whether it's, Probably just taking off, I think, but I'm not sure. I, I like the background, works really well. The bird stands out beautiful in the image. Uh, in. Checking in. <laughs> Who couldn't love that? Eh? Really nice shot of the young lady in the airport. I think you can, I think the face is a little bit soft and could be, could be, a lot sharper and it would create a little stronger image because that's the most important part of, a, of an individual is the face and especially the eyes. So I think it's a little bit, probably this part of the image is extremely sharp. So my suspicion is the autofocus sensors grabbed around this plane and missed the face a bit out. Unusual friends. Great street photography. I might complain a little bit about the fact that it's very close to the edge, but the image is so powerful. Okay, that's just, that's something that's just, I'm gonna ignore it entirely. I like the, I like the expression on the, on the two gentlemen. I like the interaction in between them. Okay, and he's looking at something and this guy is looking at him. What are you looking at? And I love the story that's in here, uh, in. 
security cage and flag. Interesting, interesting graphic image. Uh, I think it would be a little bit stronger without this side of the image. I, mean, I think you could take that out and it would be it would be even stronger for you. Maybe even a little bit more off this side to concentrate a little bit more on the flag and whatever this piece is. And maybe even tone down the whites a little bit more. They're probably not blown out, okay? but they're a little bit overpowering. So when I first looked at the image, I saw all the whites and it took me a while to find out what is the major subject in here, which I think is the major subject, is the flag, okay, and this part of the image uh, out. The guardian of my home. <laughs> really great, really great composition and a setup. Okay? Very well done. Okay? I like the, I like the uh, the exposure on the image. I like the sharpness of it. Yes, it does fall off back here, but where it really needs it, it is tack sharp in the image. I like the background. I like the fact that this is really muted back here. In fact, you could probably take off this part of the image okay, and just concentrate a little bit more on this. Okay? But I'll say that again. Ian. Red ball and feather. I like the I like the red ball and the feather. The background is bothering me a bit because the background is a little bit brighter and it's very busy. So my eye and my mind is wandering around in here, okay, trying to figure out what this background is, but it should be concentrating on the ball and the feather. And I, I think the ball also could be a little bit sharper in the image but the background is really not working that well for you in this image, uh, out. In conversation. Interesting, interesting time, okay, to catch them. Okay. Very, very well done. Okay. I, might, I might tone down the right side of it or cut this, cut this right side off a bit so you concentrate a little bit more on the birds, okay? But they're very interesting. You don't generally see birds interacting like that. So I like the novelty of this image quite a bit. In Sailing with night lights. I like the composition. I, uh, I'm trying to figure out what this is in the image. <laughs> uh, and I'm not so sure, but I, I like the building. I like the, the Ferris wheel. I like the lighting on it. Background works very well. I would tone this down, especially that it's near the, the frame line. My eye goes there and a little nit, my eye goes over here to that bright spot. And I should be concentrating a little bit more on that. But I like the I like the composition. I like the feel of the image. In relaxing at the beach. Nice composition. You just get the feeling that this guy is really enjoying it. Okay, and he and looking through the fence at the rest of the beach out there. I love the lighting on it. The exposure is done very well. I like the feel of the image. I like the thought behind the image uh, in. The glory of Orton. Yes, it is with all of those goals. Right? And they're, uh, they're, very, they're very well handled. The uh, looking up at trees though generally isn't the greatest image. It, it doesn't give you a lot of a lot of feeling for the, for the forest itself. There's a lot of beautiful things in the image. Okay? This part of the image I think is, is really superb. Okay, the exposure, the goals in here. This part of the image too 
where you get a little bit of a mix in between the really bright, bright gold and some of the darker. And when I think a little bit less in the image and concentrate, if you concentrated on only this part of the image, I think it would be much stronger for you uh, out. Magician and observer. <laughs> I love the expression on this child. Right? The child isn't as sharp as it should be, but the expression, okay, just, are you kidding me? <laughs> and I, I love the, I love the expression on the, on the magician's face, you know, and he's, he's obviously talking to the child, but this makes it for me, okay? It's just that, just that attitude that young children have. Don't try to pull one over on me. Uh, in. I'm not afraid. I like the, I like this part of the image. But this doesn't seem, this top part doesn't seem to fit in the image, but you have trouble because you'd have to photograph it from a little different angle. But I think if this was photographed against a black background, I think it would be a lot different because when I go into the image, my eye goes here because it's the major bright spot in the image. Then my eye goes down here to the bottom and then eventually winds up at the man. But I think that if the background was different, I think you'd have a much better image than the one that's, that's uh, presented right now out. A peaceful stroll. I like the feel of this. I like the mood. Okay? I like the fact <clears throat> that they're kind of in the dark. Okay? Because you get the whole feeling of the buildings that are around here. Okay? And the, the sky. And what kind of a day it is. And the couple walking along. Really and look like they're, they're really enjoying it. It's just an image that you would... I would like to. I would like to be there, and when an image raises that kind of emotion in me, it really gets me in. Okay, round two. We have eleven. Okay. Heron looking at a friend. Eight. Angry crow. Seven. Beauty from behind. Eight. Graceful in flight. Nine. Unusual friends. Nine. The guardian of my home. Eight. In conversation. Seven. Sailing with the night lights. Seven. Relaxing at the beach. Eight. Magician and observer. Eight. A peaceful stroll. Eight. Okay. From here, we're going to get a first and second. Okay. Unusual friends and graceful in flight. The two friends first and the bird second. Okay, from here, we're going to select the third place. Okay. Heroin, beauty from behind, guardian of my home, relaxing at the beach, magician and observer, and peaceful stroll. The magician and observer. <laughs> Open class AA, third place, magician and observer, Mario. Great job, Mario. Second place, graceful in flight, Mario again. I guess tonight's your night, Mario. 
and first place, Unusual Friends, Rich. Great job, Rich. Okay. Nice, uh, uh, really good images. Okay, now we're gonna go down to theme class B. And here we only have two. Okay, can I go out and get a knife and fork? Absolutely. That sure was a yummy meal. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> it all depends on your viewpoint. For the vulture, it is a yummy meal. <laughs> uh, I think the image is a little bit too busy and it's hard to find the food that's in here. There's a jumble of vultures, okay, and some leftover ribs and whatever down the bottom but the, the image doesn't coalesce as well as it could to indicate the theme of food uh, out. Give me more and more, give me more, more, more. I think a little bit, little bit different composition in the image in order to emphasize more the face and the food which I think is probably the reason that you took the image. Okay? But right now, the head of the man seems to be the main object in the image. And I think what you really were trying to portray was what's going on with him eating into the cake or pie or whatever is here, uh, out. Okay, since we have two outs, we're just gonna uh... It creates a problem for us. <laughs> now we'll call it a day. <laughs> All right, let's go to uh, theme A. We have 12 here. Okay. Snack. Interesting, interesting composition, okay, of the banana. Uh, I think the, the, the whites in here okay, are, are blown out. I think if you reduce the exposure on this, if you use the post-processing in Lightroom, okay, or in, in Photoshop, a little work with the paintbrush, drop the exposure down, maybe a half a stop, three quarters of a stop, and it would take care of that. Uh, and I think the, the broken background doesn't work that well for me. Okay? Because I'm now, I'm looking at two objects in the image. I'm looking at the background as an object, not as a background. And the, the banana itself, which is the food and the theme of the, of the night. So I think that the composition could be a little bit better in the image. Out. <laughs> Onions. Nice, nicely done. Okay, works well, and they works well in the, the theme of uh, of food. I would take the highlights down a bit. Okay, the highlights in through here, in the background, because it's dragging my eye back there, and even this one on the side. Okay, very easy to do. Okay, if you if you're in any kind of post processing, just take the highlight shadow and drop it down, so you get a tonality. That's maybe something like this. And it would improve the image quite a bit. Uh, but in. Cookies and milk. Mm -hmm. it, fits the, it fits the theme very well. But I think in here you have, since the, the, the glass of milk is extremely important to the image. That needs to be sharp, and it isn't. And because you have a you have a real depth of field problem, I think, in here. It, it's not bad back here because you're looking through the glass, so you don't expect it to be sharp. <coughs> Excuse me, but I would expect this part to be a lot sharper, and even the rim of the glass. And I think that's distracting for me. Uh, out. Butterfly smorgasbord. 
nice, nice view with a butterfly and the flowers. Okay, and uh, it fits the it fits the theme of of food very nicely. Uh, I think you could improve the image if this was a little bit on a different angle. If the flowers occupied a little bit more and were on, a, on an angle and a little bit different angle rather than just straight down on the butterfly would help you. Uh, but I'll see that again in. <laughs> Unappetizing. I like that. I like the idea. I like the composition. Okay. I'm not so sure what this is. Okay. But with the toothpicks in it, I know it's food, but I'm not sure exactly sure what food it is. Uh, but you have a, you have a, a sharpness problem in the image. Okay. This is a major piece of the image and through here. And it demands to be quite a bit sharper than it is. And then when you get back here, you fall off a little bit, okay, and through here. Okay? This part looks reasonably sharp, but the rest of it is kind of out of focus and really needs to be in better focus out. Edibles. Yes, they are nicely presented. Okay, it's shot straight down, but it's still it's got that's on an interesting background. Okay, interesting plate, okay, and the, the fruits are very nicely exposed and handled very well uh, in. Veggie snacks. Nicely done, beautiful composition, beautiful lighting that's in it. Everything is sharp where it has to be, okay, all the way through the, the carrots, okay, and the broccoli and the celery. It's just very appetizing. And it's, it's very nicely handled, very nicely composed, very nicely exposed in. Gourmet seeds. It's going dry there. Uh, I don't know whether this is motion or what, but the birds need to be a lot sharper in the image, especially this one. It's interesting because I think what happened, I think it's a depth of field problem because if I look at it, what's really in focus is this part. So my belief is that the autofocus sensors hit on this plane and they focused on it. And I don't know what kind of a lens you were using, okay? But you didn't have much depth of field. So as soon as you get back into the plane of the birds, they become really soft. And they're a major part of the image, so they need to be sharper uh, out. Barbecue sauce. From the look of the image and from the title, I think the image is right here, because that's where the barbecue sauce is. You need maybe just maybe a little bit more to show that it's a barbecue, all okay? right? But this is, this is what you're trying to portray in the image. This hurts you because it's fairly bright and my eye is going up to the top. But really where I wanna concentrate, especially since this is an assigned subject of food, I wanna concentrate on the food and the food is in the lower part of the image uh, out. Cherries. It's more an abstract image, okay, and a graphic image than it is an image of food and cherries. And so I don't think it fits the theme very well of food uh, because you would expect if it was cherries, most of them are red, okay, but it, it, it's more it's more a pictorial or a graphic image than it is an image that fits this uh, this competition out. You want me to disqualify it? Uh, yes, I would. This way they could uh, do it again. Could, yeah. yeah. Carpenter bees dying. Mm -hmm. 
Now you're going to say, I'm a, hug for, I'm a hug for sharpness. Okay, but since the B is really the major part of this image, it has to be sharp, and it isn't. In fact, I really can't find anything in the image that is really sharp. So I don't know whether you were, you're probably in with a macro lens and they're, they are killers, okay, when you photograph them because the depth of field is generally so small of them that you suffer from it. Uh, but I think it really needs to be sharp in order to carry itself out. Roast pork. I like the storytelling and I like the composition of the image. You kind of come into this image and you see the, you see the chef and then you kind of fall down into the image and you see him dealing with the, with the pork over the coals. Very nicely composed, nicely thought out uh, in. Okay. Round two, onions. Seven. Uh -huh. Butterfly smorgasbord. Seven. Edibles. Eight. Veggie snacks. Nine. Roast pork. Hmm. Eight. Okay, we're going to give this one a first place. And here, we're gonna choose uh, first and second. Okay. Roast pork, I'm sorry, let me get back into it. Edibles and roast pork. Roast pork is, well, we choose in second and third place? Yeah. Roast pork is second place. The edibles are third place. Theme, class A, third place, edibles. Michelle, wow, great job, Michelle. Second place, roast pork, Harvey, beautiful Harvey. And first place, veggies, Claude. Wow, Claude again, wow. Really <laughs> having a good night. Claude is definitely having a good night. Okay, now we're going to... Here. We have 22 in AA. Okay. Crusty homemade bread. Okay. I like the light. Okay. I like the, the knife into the bread. I would take this out of the image. Okay. Either tone it down okay, because it's right on the frame and it's really bright. Takes away a little bit from the image. But very well thought out image. Very interesting. I like the I like all the, the, the texture, okay, and the light that's on the knife. It really brings your eye down here where the cut is going into the bread. Uh, in blueberries and cream. It's a very interesting splash screen. I question whether it really meets the theme of, of food. Yes. Okay, there is cream here. Uh, I'll take that back. There is cream, okay, and there are there are the blueberries in here. But that said, okay, the 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 description of the food is a little bit weak in the image. But I'll say that again. In All right. okay, so. funnel cakes and corn dogs. Interesting way of presenting food. And yes, there's food all over this image. You don't see the food, okay, but you see everything that leads you to the food. Okay? The lemonade, the corn dogs, the French fries, everything that's on the list in here. Okay? Even the garbage can for the food. Uh, very nicely done. What I would do to the image is 
take out this part of it. Okay. It's it's cut off. It's a little bit disturbing because it's on the on the frame line, uh, but still in. Waffles and wings. I like the lighting. I like the texture in the image. Done, the exposure is done very well. Uh, I like that the presentation, I like the fact that the, the waffle is on this diagonal and then filled in okay, with all the, the rest of the food. Nicely handled in. Oh, I don't think this will work out well. Great picture of the child. It's on the edge of really not being part of the food theme. Yes, she is eating, but this is such a small part and her expression and her whole look isn't on the food itself, which would add to the image. To me, the image is more an image of the child and not of the food. Beautifully handled, nicely exposed. I would take this part of the image and tone it down a bit so that the eye doesn't go there. But I love the I love the young child, but I'm not so sure that it really fits the uh, the, the theme of food. So I can either DQ it or or make it an out. It's up to you, Vinny. I think I'll DQ it. Okay. Cruising for de dessert. Mm -hmm. I think the strength in the image is right in here, the dessert. So I think if you were, came in here a little bit tighter on it, so that this, come on. So there's no question about this is, I think this is what you saw and what made you take the image. It's all the dessert over here. And this is just, distracting to the eye because it took me a while to get away from the bright spots in here and get my eye and my brain to, to train on the major piece of the image, which is the dessert uh, out. What's for dinner? Great composition. Okay. I love the expression on the sky. You can just see it. It's that pensive, what do I want to pick? Do I want these? Do I want those? Okay. What is, and the, the, uh, the guy behind the counter, okay, he's also kind of just putting up with them. Would you make up your mind? Okay. But I think the composition is handled very well. The exposure is great. This guy just makes the whole, makes the whole image. And yes, you can say, is it really food? Yes, it is to me because of all of this that's going on, all the cooking, and all the rest of the display and the sodas that are down here, right? But it's it's close, okay? But I still think I would accept it as part of the food theme uh, in. Surprised. I don't know why, why you cut off the pieces of the food. I think this probably carries out through here, and this carries out through here. So maybe even a not a not a portrait image, okay, but a landscape image down through here would present the food a little bit better. Because a lot of this image now is the background to it, and the concentration on the food itself isn't as great as it could be. Uh, out. Balanced. Beautiful lighting. Look at the way it carries all the texture in the bread. Okay, the shadows in here are just fantastic. Notice how in an image, shadows really give you the feeling of depth. Gives you a 3D feeling. In fact, if you look at this, I don't know what this face is over here. But, Okay, but notice, notice what the shadows do for the image. Uh, I love that. I love the knife down here, okay, which is just finished cutting the bread. 
Okay? But the, the exposure, the composition is just, it, to me, it is extremely nice. Uh, in. Garlic and oil too. I wish just a little bit sharper in through the garlic because the composition and the lighting is really great in through here. The background is also, it accentuates the garlic, but these are either they're overexposed or they're out of focus. I'm looking through the image, okay? And maybe this part is in focus, but it falls off in through here and the garlic is the major piece of it and it needs to be sharp uh, out. Valley of the tomato pie. <laughs> nice, nice composition of the pie. Uh, very appetizing. I like the uh, I like the composition of it. I like the lighting of it. Done very nicely in. Carefully sprinkle on the cheese. Yes, you can say. Well, he commented on the other girl, okay, that being a part of it. But here, she is part of the action, okay? Notice her interaction with the food. Okay? And that, I believe, puts it back into the, the theme of the, the, the competition itself. It just, she adds to this image. This image would be a lot different than just the food. And notice the impact that she creates in the image. Just the enjoyment, okay, and the... The, the getting ready for the baking of it. Very nicely done uh, in. Fresh from the sea. I wonder if that was really there. Uh, I think it's a little bit hard to make out at the first glance okay, that it's an oyster. And maybe because this should be sharper and through here. This is interesting over here, but could be a little bit lit a little bit better. I need to bring up the shadows, not all the way up. You want to leave the shadows in, but you want to have some more depth in through here and some more light into that part of the image so that you really see inside the oyster uh, out. Taiwan food market. Right before opening, it looks like <laughs> this lady has no business. Yeah. I like the I like the composition. I like the feeling of the market and all the food in here. Uh, she adds a little bit to the story. That the shopkeeper uh, in freshly washed. Interesting composition because you see all the. You see all the, the, the dew and the the, uh, the water on the is it broccoli? Hey, the background is the background is also very interesting. It kind of kind of leads you into the the uh, the food itself and the broccoli. Uh, very very tack sharp, very nicely exposed in egg in lens ball. The reason I stopped trying to figure out why this looks like the egg slicer, but this looks like an egg in its shell. And so I'm not so sure what, what, the, what the photographer wanted to project in the image. But I, I like the image itself, but to me, the, there's, a, there's a discontinuity in the story that's in here. I think this is an egg in its shell. I'm not so sure what this is. Okay, in through here. So I think it could be a little bit stronger in terms of the food is presented uh, out. Sizzling. I like the, I like the image, okay. I like the, like it's very well lit. It's sharp where it has to be. 
You know, I think if you did this on a 45 degree angle, it would even be a little bit stronger for you. I mean, the concept is a lot of things that are either straight vertical or straight horizontal are not dynamic. There's no, <clears throat> excuse me, no tension in the image. And that, that's the feel I get of this, but I like the, I like the presentation of the bacon. I can almost smell it. And I like the, uh, I like the lighting and I like the, the sharpness of the image in. The Bangkok butcher. Mm. Get this finger out of the way, Lori, will you? <laughs> I, great storytelling. It's, it's done very nicely. I would tone down this in the image a little bit and tone down that. But those are those are just mind and nits. I like the I like the storytelling. I like the expression, the concentration of the butcher, and, and the uh, the meat being cut in the image. In Singapore shrimp. Mm. Another one, I think, you're, I think you're in close with the lens that you either didn't shoot it at a small enough aperture to get the depth of field in the image. This is tack sharp the way it should be. So with the green in here, but the shrimp are very soft and they, they should be a little bit sharper in the image to really carry the image because this is all about the food and the shrimp itself. Uh, probably more than 50% of the image, but yet they're kind of, they're, they're too soft in the image uh, out. Luscious. Nicely done. I like, the, I like the interplay of the colors, okay, that are in here. I think I would do something a little bit different with this part of the image. Tone it down so it gets out of the image and you just concentrate a little bit more in here, but I like the display of all the various fruits in the image. Uh, in breakfast, nicely right. out, nicely composed, nicely executed. I love the background because it really makes it stand out. Yes, this is cut off. It doesn't bother me because the main piece of the story is there. Okay, the bread being served on the plate and it being cut up okay, and then getting ready for the next plate. I like the storytelling, I like the lighting, I like the composition, and I just like the feel of the image done very well in. Vegetable market. I think I would concentrate a little bit more on one a smaller part of the image because I'm bouncing all around the image and trying to determine which is the real part of the food that I want to be looking at. Since this is, this part of the image is probably the most significant homogeneous food. And this may be the most interesting part because I now I hop from different foods okay, all over the place and they, the image just doesn't come together for me uh, out. Okay, we have 14 for round two. Okay, I guess I can stay awake for that. Okay, great. <laughs> Crusty homemade bread. <laughs> uh, nine. Blueberries and cream. Seven. Funnel cake and corn dogs. Eight. Waffles and wings. Nine. What's for dinner? Eight. Balanced. Eight. Valley of the tomato pie. Seven. Carefully sprinkle on the cheese. Eight. Taiwan food market. Seven. Freshly washed. Eight. Sizzling. Seven. The Bangkok butcher. Eight. 
Luscious. Seven. Breakfast. Nine. All right. Well, from here, we're going to get first, second, and third. Okay, and a slice of bread. Breakfast, waffles and wings, and homemade bread. Breakfast is first place. Okay. And by the next, the next is top. <laughs> okay, that's the first one. The bread being cut. That's that's second place. Okay, double A theme food. And third place, waffles and wings. Dan, fantastic. Getting me hungry. Mm -hmm. uh, second place, crusty homemade bread. Sandy, beautiful. I love that. And first place, breakfast. Sandy again. Wow, Sandy, you have a great night. I doubled up on a couple of people tonight, didn't I? Yeah, you did. All right, what I'm gonna do now is invite everybody to go and to unmute. Well, I don't know about anybody else. I didn't have any dinner tonight, but now I'm really hungry. Maybe <laughs> really hungry. <laughs> So congratulations to all, beautiful pictures and Vinny, yeah. thank you so much. Uh, I, I think we learned quite a bit from the things that you had to say tonight. Okay, good. Thank you for inviting me, it was enjoyable. There's some really great images in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, we wish you a pleasant drive home. <laughs> <laughs> it's just easy for you. You know, Vinny, I want to say none of mine were good enough for you, but I learned a lot. So thank you. No, just don't say it that way. It wasn't oh. it not, it wasn't that was good enough for me, okay? No, no, no. I mean that's a poor way of putting it, but I understood your um uh, critique. Great. That's, and, the, that's the only reason I judge. Yes, so that's a better way of saying it. So, thank you, thank you very much for that. Yes, thank you. I, I Great job. A question, if I might. Um, uh, I belong to another group. It's a meetup group, and they are the uh, the leader of the group. Uh, uh, speaks about many principles of photography. One of which is continue continuance and he feels that it's not necessary to show the entire item but that one can imagine what the uh, it doesn't all need to be contained in the photograph i know i'm not saying he's right and you are wrong or the other way around but it's another way to look at it absolutely there is no to me bobby there is no rights and wrongs in photography okay it all depends upon what the what the photographer is trying to trying to visualize and trying to present to other people, because to me, photography is a visual communication medium. Bobby, you're at the mercy of the judge. Yes, oh. <laughs> I wouldn't quite <laughs> so. Uh... <laughs> one one thing I would say to take note of, which I knew before, uh, the title of the picture. My picture was for spacious skies and had all the blue on the top and the flowers at the bottom. Without that title, I would suspect it would have been, uh, Betty, you, you would have probably said, oh, crop it down. But uh, you were 100. The title led you to what you want. Yeah. You were 100% correct. Yeah. Okay. And then once I heard the title, I saw the beauty and the novelty in the image. Yeah. Because it really had a very impactful story to it. Yeah. 
That's why I don't like people that enter flower, red flower number 17. <laughs> uh, yeah. Think about the titles a little bit when you do it. Yeah. I you, Claude. Because Claude, the whole story in there too was the flowers reaching up for the sunlight. Right. And yes. The, uh, it, had, it had a beautiful story to it. And it was a very unusual composition. And it really made me stop and think. And I love what an image does that. Um, I'm going to just say um, thanks, Finney, for my first and second prize. And I just want to say that those photos were taken with iPhone. And, and I use um, um, Photo Room to edit. And I use just two little book lights for my lighting, because you mentioned that the lighting was really good. Uh -huh. So it's really interesting that you can do something you know, a much more simply. Um, Absolutely. The beauty comes from the eye and the brain of the photographer. Mm -hmm. Okay. And iPhones, okay, and any kind of smartphone is getting so good these days in their mm -hmm. capability to photograph that they're, uh, they're creating a revolution. Yes, and it's a wonderful thing because uh, you can be anywhere at any time. You always. Mm -hmm. You and Absolutely. Saying, uh, the best pictures are taken with the camera you have with you. And yep. 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 Now, I doubt whether you can get a really good 24 by 36 in <laughs> at a size, you know, but that's not <laughs> where we're at. We you never know. know. Don't we're down, we're down, know. We're down to something like 1200 pixels by 1200 <laughs> pixels. <laughs> in fact, if you take a DSLR and for competition images, the way we're doing it, you can crop out 90% of that image without losing any quality. Mm -hmm. okay. wow. That's how that's how much is in there. Okay. Comments or remarks? Well, I thought Vinny did a great job and uh, yeah, didn't win, but I did learn. So that's what counts. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you for that because that's that's the that's only the reason. That's the only reason I judge, okay, is really to help people. And I know very few judges on the circuit who are out there to, to do harm to people. I mean, they they all want to help, or some of them are not as good at helping as others. But that's mm -hmm. the way life is. <laughs> well, have a good trip home, Vinny. Okay. I got it. <laughs> I got to go around the corner to my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Vinny, it was great to see you again. Thanks a lot. Uh, nice to see everybody. Thank you.